video and welcome everyone um today i can uh, play like burlington empire to the war since i play uh, persia in another stream and this time i'm gonna do poland since it's something i would do for a longer time first time attack this is the first time i'm gonna play poland and government if it wants to load it's actually pretty good it could be improved but not bad especially with i don't have any naval connections or such so is there any thing we take with a port nearby a sweden port up north yes so there's part up north from sweden so that's something good or i should attack prussia and take berlin oh 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 jump game um tech oh i have nothing okay i want to say i wanted to get bayonets first so let's do that diplomacy would be something good since I actually have no idea about diplomacy whatsoever. Hostile, nice. Ultimate Empire, hostile, nice. The neighbors don't really like me. Damn, my game is slow today. Uh, trade, single payment, not that much, so yes, because I've, I had 30,000. Sweden. Nope, okay. Austria. Please. Yes, that's good. Um, the Camian. The Camian, please. <sighs> this could be a struggle. It's Saxony, is my. Protectorate. Oh, so is Kurland. Okay, this could be challenging. No idea why Denmark is my ally, but I don't mind. I'm friendly with Hanover, so gonna try to get an alliance with them, and they disagree. Okay. First things first, my armies all. Pretty shit. <laughs> to say at least. I have already some lances, and Poland is known for lancey caves, especially in the Napoleonic era. Yeah, I'm gonna put you in the fort because. I think that's the best thing we can do right now. Um, I think the best thing I can do with you is setting Poland to defense. In here, I have no idea what to do. So, I think I just can set you. In this farmland. Are this all my armies? It seems like it. Wait. Bursh is my ally? How did I not see this? How did I not see that Bursh was my ally? Sweden, did I try to see nobody? I think so. So, first things first get a port or just invade Sweden as soon as possible but I don't think my economy will be able to run or be able to deal with that so gentlemen get to my school you uh, I would say go up Sweden go check on them 
infiltrates. Because I need a fort here. But not that much matter. I think if I'm quick, I'm able to get something out of it. Because if I would attack... Okay, I can go through there, so that's good. I can set myself down here, actually. I think it's more... I think it's a better place to be. There's no building wise. Warshall? Warshall? Okay, I can barely... Ban I can barely build anything. This thing. I'm not able to do anything with those technologies since there is nothing I can do with it. I don't trust Prussia or Austria, so I think I should rather want to build something down south. And the Russian border is something I feel safe with. Can I actually just destroy this and see what else I can build? I would like to have some forts in here. Some barracks and then some better money. Okay, I'm not gonna do anything with you. I will spend money on you. I can spend money everywhere I can actually since I have the money. <laughs> um My plan is now to just get a naval uh some navy and then Cool, wild. So first things first, attack Sweden, push them out down south here. Get Burnish Port Iron, build a trading dock and I have trade up north. This plays on its own. Oh shit, I can lose this very quickly, especially since it's... The Actually, everything's so. Yeah, I'm able to build this, so I'm gonna build it since. Nah, I'm gonna pass on that. I'm gonna rather recruit men for him. Get some li line. Shut up. Get like 2 calf. Sure. Like this or whatever, tell me no. So let me get like two damn artillery and then just fill it up with characters within your nation will develop like that. While I'm gonna build up you as well with oh everything comes from here. Yeah. I think I'm gonna burn you down as well. Would I be able to actually get in Warsaw some better infrastructure? Actually, I'm surprised that the infrastructure is pretty good down here. <laughs> so, better infrastructure in, po in Warsaw? Then I still have the money to improve this, and that's actually all my money. <laughs> I think I'll save on that for now. So, I keep some money over. Some money. So then just the next turn. Um, oh boy, it takes a long time. Really long time. So I need to have a defense force in the west. Because I'm probably gonna fight Prussia and Austria. I also want the force up north to invade Sweden. And then I want a force down south in case of a war. war. So I actually could pick just some pikemen and actually just a couple of militia to keep an iron down south. What? I. What? I get 
This is the strangest O5 ever kept. I don't know. No. I don't even know what I would get. <laughs> strange. Very strange. But I'm very worried since section E down here is my protectorate. Ah. The nation's declared war on you, Austria. Well, like, I didn't expect this to happen. Wait, who is this? Denmark avoided the war. Shit. But I'm only in war with, uh, Austria, so that's good. There's only one side to fight the war on. And then you're gonna need to protect some stuff. <laughs> the force have them side to need to move it up right away. I can't sit back anymore, I need to act now, otherwise I'm gonna fuck myself on the late game. It now it may not be some um, trouble because early game but I would like to get Binance as soon as possible since that would give me a bonus when the enemy goes in melee mode. So that would be good and also technology is pretty useful and can outsmart the enemy with that. Wait you want military access and you want to give me money? Yes. Maybe that way I secured uh, another border. So maybe a only fighting Austria and I wouldn't mind that at all. I'm just worried about a tooth war with Sweden, since Sweden is big. I'm actually really surprised that the infrastructure here is, seems pretty good. It seems better than most of yeah, the Benelux and areas around in Europe. <laughs> Even though this is the first time I played like Poland, I don't know what usually happens. But also the Clash warned me. That's something I actually expect to happen. So now I'm actually waiting on Prussia to declare war on me. So is Prussia honestly. <laughs> I'm very surprised that actually Saxony is my protector, that's especially since I haven't I don't know why. Kugeland, I actually expected, but I, I'm not surprised about that. Saxony, I am. One benefit of not having sea trade, you don't have any trouble with them. Same with the pirates. So now it's my turn again. I got now four Population thousand. In this region has been sufficient for a new town to and I got nine thousand, but what's my this economy? Five thousand, okay, good enough. Supply and taxation. Declared the war. Farms and fishing Spain and the Dutch. The I don't care. So actually, I need to start recruiting troops for you. Very small army as well. First of all, what's your army existing of? 
artillery and some irregulars. Okay. Oh, luckily you can come in here. Oh, you're gonna have such a bad time. <laughs> no need to wait. While I have, oh, I have maybe made a mistake. There are currently no troops stationed oh, I can this fort. Only do this. As things Shit. Stand. So I need to upgrade them before I'm able to do anything with them. That wasn't what I expected. Infiltrate, and then I actually would like to have you actually die south. You know what? Ooh. Sure. This. So let me see what's. What am I Orthodox? No, I'm Catholic. Wait, I'm Catholic. Yeah, Catholic. Okay, so I need to get some some more Catholicism. No, I have enough here. I can't take a look if I have any trouble with religion. Yep, all the way up north. So you will go up north. As soon as I feel safe up north, I'm gonna invest in this. Since I need to. I'm thinking I need to abandon this fort, otherwise, send him to there and him down south. There are currently no troops. Shut up. up! This is gonna be such a tough gameplay. Actually, are you able to move even further? Not much, but can you able to since Petersburg? I would like to see what Sweden is doing. Because I don't think you will attack me since... I got more men than you. Just like their infantry units, what would it be? I don't know, but they have more of 5. My infantry have more of 4. But I'm able to use my pikemen as support for my militia. And they both have daily weapons. And I have in general, so. Make sure I also should arm this place. <sighs> Is Austria also in war? A section also in war with Austria? Yep. Also in war with a lot of nations. A lot of nations, dear. I'm hit by the Ottomans, hit by the Swedes. But here I'm fine, and I hope I'm able to get a trade with you. Nope. Am I actually in war with the Ottomans? Uh, not the Ottomans, with. The pirates, I'm mostly war with them, even though I am not what? It takes a bit back trying to get as much money out of it as possible. Five five sure. I hope I'm not killing myself right away. Especially not with Prussia. Unfriendly. Okay. Then I get broken the alliance. I'd like to have Hanover because they would actually. Kind of make me. If Prussia would declare war on me, they have now just two provinces. And Hanover lays here, they can invade Berlin. Even though I would like to have Berlin, I can't enough focus actually to take Sweden. So. Um, I'm gonna try to stay defensive on the west and aggressive in the east. 
that's my plan. Will it, I succeed? I don't think so. Special note of now, this arm, for example, marches through here. Take them and you text me, then I can be so fucked. You can move up. Oh, 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 German game. You can move up north. Actually, you have not a pikeman left. I don't want this pikeman, and you can move it down here. Even though I would like the pikeman in the army for now, especially because early time, even pikemen are handy to use. Just for example, if you have an uphill situation. You can use your pikemen to defend your cannons against Kev or whatever. Pikemen will just provide you some defensive, a defensive force, or if needed, a aggressive force to just be a distraction force or attack the enemy in the backs when they are immediately fight with you. But now Prussia has actually all the military access they actually would need. So I expect Prussia to not attack me pretty soon and just stand back. Even though also as their ally, I don't see them to it would declare war on. No! Actually, just no. Ah, oh, they are unfriendly now. I want to stay defensive in the east, aggressive in the north, but if Russia can declare war on me, I can only be aggressive in the northwest. Otherwise, I'm fucked. And why is the Ottomans? Why are the Ottomans? Why are the Ottomans uh, assembling so many men on my border? I don't like that. But I don't know that Sweden and Russia will declare war. So I hope I'm able to take St. Petersburg from the Swedish before Russia does. Otherwise I'm forced to go to Berlin. And Berlin would also be the safe option for me. Since then there are less countries in the Baltic that I need to cross with trade. Also, it will give me, for now, more money, it will give me more money as long as my, my port isn't blocked. So the only reason I need the navy is just to keep the strait open at the end. Like, this strait needs to be open for me, that's it. Wait, what did Venice over there? And this is actually something I'm wondering. In my free game stream, and I even in my free game free game stream, or the stream with Persia and uh, my series with the UK, uh, Great Britain. The shadowy areas at the edges of your territory and Good. beyond are caused by the fog of war. Whereas by now the positions of cities, borders. Yeah, shut up. Uh, but Venice always sells that part of Greece to the Iroquois and they or they trade this region with a region in the Iroquois territory. Why? I have no idea. You're in. You almost got full recruitment. No 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 first him like another calf unit and no fuck you grab some more calf I think you need it yep you're gonna need some calf then you what? oh 
I need to improve the Parex first. Okay. Um, sure, I guess. Get some more cap, I guess. How many cap do you actually have? Two cap. Two, three, four. Four is enough for me. I also don't have a lot of money to build something. Does this actually give anything? No, no, uh, no economy based stuff, so I don't think I will do it. So I just need to have Vienna and Vienna. Seriously, I need to have Austria and Hamburg. That's it. Oh my god. Did I take a short campaign? I think I did. Yeah, short campaign. I just don't, I don't want to play the short campaign. I will try to play as long as possible, more like survive mode. Nisha, I may be able to take over Salisha pretty soon. No, actually not. I see already like one full stack army over here. So, yeah. Even though it would be better off using my gentleman up north, uh, down south, I'm still busy down here. Okay. This, is, this is a port! Good, 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 good! Actually, if I have the man down here, I think I'm just gonna move my troops to the border by the... Yeah, Fuck it. And now I'm gonna move you down south. I would like to... Actually... Do we need to know what's down here? I can't say defensive, so I don't think so. You just need to end down here. Yeah. Now I get more catalysts, uh, more catalysm in there, and less protestantism. That's good. I think diplomacy is pretty important for. For, uh, for Poland, especially with unfriendly people. You already got Black Bayonets, okay. No, but I want to send a gift. Use this option to offer a monetary gift. The finest of China. In the hope this will. I hope this will do some good for now. I save myself from disaster. <sighs> My economy is dropping and I'm not able to do anything against it. I actually kind of need to wait until my army of the northern army is strengthened. It's pretty strong to attack, especially since it's a fucking fort. <sighs> yeah, I think they're gonna take me pretty soon. I have no army whatsoever to defend anything. I have only three armies, I mean one army already moving up north. Try to strike that, try to leave a garrison force, try to make peace with Sweden after I took to the two states, then go back south, try to support the defense of my eastern border. What? What? Do you want to... I need to give them West Prussia, this and what's the other province? Lithuania? Best thing I can do is shit. Oh, this little way. Why? No, I would trade this with you. That's the only thing I would trade. Okay, that's it. And that's the only thing I would trade with you. But I would get. I didn't get it. Why would you do that? And I'm very scared of the ultimates right now. I don't like seeing this moving in my direction. Well, 
what are they trying to do? Are they fighting the... Um, why do you want to say, why are they fighting the Ottomans? They are the Ottomans. Why are they... Are they in war with the Russians? Perhaps. And now I know that's a dog. I actually don't need to destroy the fishing dog. I can just make a trade dog down here. That's actually good. So I have only two territories. Well, I have only territories in Europe, so I see almost nothing of the world. Especially with no naval trades and no sea trade, I have no sites whatsoever except of the surroundings around me. I can actually just no. I saw my rake, and I can use him to actually kill enemy generals. And 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 uh, enemy uh, gentlemen's rigs and stuff. Your nation capital is the central hub of your empire. Good. You can construct things here. Should have. Small books, sure. Technology, would I like to get carabiners? It would give me dragoons. Wait, light dragoons? I really think my white mindsman is getting destroyed. Oh, we have slightly big range, way more accuracy, less reloading skill, more ammo. And that's the same. Yeah, I think so, but I think I really want those cats. I'm just gonna go for ring bayonets. Why did I say biscuit? I mean bayonets. Or what things can I improve with the money I have now? I have not a lot of money. But I would like to in to improve this army, that's about it I can do. <laughs> oh boy, it's gonna be so bad. Two turns I need to wait before. Eh? Two turns are a lot. Technology rate would go up, happiness would go up. The region, some more. Fuck it, I can do this. You can come. Wait, if I was sieging something, I was able to the. Would, I would be able to destroy like the gates, uh, like the yeah gates of the fortress, and that's something I would like to try. And here I have a three stack army, and like three, yeah, three garrison units. So an army of uh, six combat units and one general. Sure, I have barely any money. Eh. And they're gonna try to destroy this. I have. <sighs> I don't wanna leave this. So I'm able to take detachments. 
from him? No, no, no. I want my calf breathed. Since you're here, and maybe get this fort. So in case Prussia takes it, I won't have any trouble with that. So now every fort is garrisoned. Yes. I always forgot I forget I have this piece on it as well. Coming in territory A eh? is being fought over. I'm so insecure about doing any of this. I hope you won't now do any I hope you won't do anything. Maybe I can even make a general of him. Then I have three armies, but my economy isn't able to sustain any actually never mind. As long as I keep building stuff and upgrading as long as I keep upgrading and building stuff and slowly building up my military, I think I would be fine. So I think I'm just gonna try to get a general next turn. And try to um, keep a good defensive line, but need to be aware of the Prussian, uh, of the Austrian threats, just like the Prussian threats. Prussia is, has the permission to m march through my country as they like, but. Eh. I don't like to see them building up an army. I have nothing close to that. So you need. Okay, I thought I was never cool. <laughs> I need to wait two turns before my infantry can be built somewhere. Uh, can be recruited somewhere else. The only place I have not is Warsaw. I didn't saw that until it was way too late. This. Is so fucking bad. <sighs> they are friendly. That's good. No, 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 no. I'm surprised that Prussia is so diplomatic. I'm used for them to be like, this is my land. You wanna give us? No? Okay, fuck you, we're gonna fight. That's how I'm used to Prussia. But still, I think Prussia is gonna declare war on me. So I need to be aware of that. Why is the game stuck on Prussia? I know what's going on. I hope you gave me the crash.
I'm even not able to get like the main menu. Ah, please game, do something. Don't be stuck. Ah. Come on. I mean, you used to be the Ottomans that are the pain the ass when you do the turn. But now it seems like it's gonna be Prussia. Or is Prussia fighting such a dumbass battle that the game is like, what the fuck do we need to do with this? Oh, that's good. Now we're back at the Ottomans, that's good. And soon it's gonna be my turn again. Okay, next time I want to check what the Ottomans are doing. Did Husha lose? I haven't seen the big. I haven't seen the strengths of both its armies, but it seems like Russia is losing. Yeah. Sometimes it's better to let people suffer instead of trying to rescue them. You'd always need to think about the bigger good. I'm not saying this, but I always. Forget that. False is. How? How oh, did you get false pain to be your allies? Eh, I mean, let's just go for 100. No, oh, 1000, I mean. But then now we're at the 30 colonies Louisiana and New Spain. So the three colonies have done, so now it's just waiting. I like that they have put those small colonies in, but I would like that we would have more interaction colonial-wise. But that would be hard to do, especially with not well, as far as I know, it's not always easy to find evidence of what was controlled with the government and what was its what was a colony, because the definition of colony is not the same as a actual colony are we gonna have the same thing with the mongols please don't i don't think so because i saw the flags moving nope we skipped them pretty fast compared to the Prussians. And I still don't know how many factions there are, so I don't know if they are close near the end or halfway or something. No idea. I only know when I see the Barbary States, we're close to the end. And I think we're close to the end because I see Venice and I think Venice is a couple of factions before. Prussia is now lucky. They are only armed with um, some garrison force and they are not doing good. Okay, maybe Venice wasn't that close. <laughs> My bad. And I don't know why am I in war with the Barbary States? I don't even know what the Barbary States are, I haven't looked it up. Yes. So now they're gonna move around all one stay, uh, one unit. Navy is just around being fucked by everyone and still pumping one uh, navy, one unit navies out like nothing. I don't know how to do it. A uh, trade route. Fuck off.
new color uh, i don't care about those things the only thing i care about is that one turn this is done and that's the only thing i care about Mm. I would like to assassinate someone, but I'm not in war yet, so I won't do it in case war will be initiated. Also, the recruitment I'm not able to see it. I'm able to get a channel here. Yeah, yeah, that would give me some benefits. Because. As long as I have a general, I will have some good morale. And this recruitment is so overloaded, oh my god. But I would like to get some line infantry down. There's some artillery down here. Artillery is necessary if you want to win. And now you, I can't recruit anything except some cats. I'm gonna put you more down here, so you're closer for everyone to reach. Except for them. I think they still need to do two turns. Nope, one turn is good enough. Now I'm half fate done. Finally. And if like five, uh, four more units with like one down here. Yep, some more artillery. Oh, misclick. Which has would take more turns. And you are for him, sure. So now you have two curve, one ranged. Yeah, I'm not able to do anything anymore. But you're still nope, you have nothing, okay. But you can get a tell that's also pretty good. I can spend all my money right away. Is more technology as well, but I have already one thing, so I think I'm gonna do it again. And then I think I'm gonna take a look at the Ottomans. Oh, you're a war with Russia. <sighs> that means I'm not so that much in trouble. <laughs> Russia is friendly because of that gift. State gift received. Good. That's very important. But the Ottomans are actually hated by almost everyone, except Sweden and the UK. There's still a Venice that's good. You are unfriendly, okay, but I have no more to send you a gift. But I can only ask for trade and 1000, and I can give you 1000. Wait, um, you want military access as much as you want for the thousands? Yes. I will take the money. Now, which do I need for a state gift? 150. Fuck. So, good to you. You want my blood bayonet? And I would say I would like 1000. A satisfactory and to our talks, I feel good. I've uh, got time, I feel good. Thank you, sir. Yes, I did it. So now I go back to. I know it's just useless to do it, but I can send you. What? Why am I not allowed to do it to them? I have the money. Eh. Then I'm just gonna improve some of my buildings. Also, where do we have? Oh, we have border down here. So maybe when they take over Ukraine, maybe it's not that bad since I can trade with them. Only Moscow is any range. But they have a decent army. Wait, if Axemen. If Axemen that are Malaysia. Cossack infantry, provincial cavalry. Two generals, I don't know why, too, but okay. 
I think Russia is feeling good today. Wait, what do I see here? Here in the middle of nowhere, and your village is growing. Okay. Actually, I feel pretty content to take uh, this army, this fort. But they're gonna get some stuff I don't like. And how long did it actually take for everything? Three turns? Two turns. So like in five turns, I think I'm able to declare war on, on Prussia. Hell no. On Sweden. Prussia are gonna try to, to keep on good sides. Just... I don't want any war on... I have now a small border. This is the only border I need to defend, so I don't try to risk that. I'm gonna try. Yeah, actually this also, but I don't think, I don't see them invading through here. I think they just want to get Warsaw, so I'm gonna try to keep that as calm as possible. And is Franz, Franz uh, fighting Hanover? Because I don't know what they are doing in um, Westfalen. Of course, they slipped through my lines attacking a 4. I have no man to counter attack their move, or to counter their move. So we need to wait until they leave, but they can now just go around my village and create havoc. This is not something I like, not at all. So what's the plan of Austria? They had a pretty good size, they had almost a full stack army. So why won't they attack me? That's the question I have. They could attack me right away and defeat my defending armies of Warsaw, all three of them. Wait. What? Did Russia win the siege? Lucky bastards. But Sweden is a fleet time there, so that's the thing I'm worried of. If I get... Um, uh, Siegfried? No, not Siegfried, that's the German line. That near France. Near Asselarain. Since, But when I get since Pittsburgh, I'm afraid Sweden won't peace out and be a pain in my ass with a navy. So that's something I need to be aware of. I hope Sweden wants to accept peace even though I need to pay even though I have to go to pay them, I will. I just want to get my ports and that's it. I'm not willing I'm not willing to get anything more. Maybe when I have the ports, I may be able to turn more offensive against Austria and take um, Silesia. Because if it's still guarded like it's guarded now, I think I'm able to put down an arm to get and march forward, or an army, of, or maybe two armies. But I would like to drop a not a fort near the Austrian border just to for protection, but. I don't know how big the range is. Oh, almost done with the turn. This time went pretty smoothly, so I'm happy about that. The, uh, the barbarian states and the pirates so bad. The only reason they have faction is just to be a pain in the ass for 
everyone. Especially since the pirates don't have any diplomacy. The barbarian states have... I think it's with Bursh I'm able, I was able to peace out with them. So yeah, I know that. For the gentleman, okay, mission successful, okay. Construction done, that's done, okay, all good. I think we'll go with him then south and try to go actually to school, I think near Vienna, yeah. Oh no no no, not the army, not the army. With my gentleman. Seal research, it will take him three turns, okay. Am I actually now able to give them the state gift? Yes, I couldn't give them the cheapest shit. So now, if I hope to request trade... Yes! This would give me a boost I need to my economy, yes. And still I've got some least money. Sweden? I don't typically trade with the Sweden anymore. What? Okay, um... Eh. I need to get a notification that they were in war. It's war. Eh. Okay, I would like to buy that from them. Am I actually able to buy... Uh, this? Is it? No, is it? Oh yeah, it's in... Ingria. Am I able to pay it? If I cannot just pay it right away. And by net of am I the plug by net? Fuck. Sweden is hostile to me, so I wouldn't even try bother trying. Do I see a building that would improve my economy? No, because I don't have any tech except this building. It could cost me almost all my own money, but I fucking need every bit of money I can. Yeah, this is gonna take- oh, I have three slots open, that's pretty good. Army, what army's in there? This army has a fort, so... Wait, what does it have a fort? Oh shit. And it goes- oh, it goes 12 down, oh shit, get me some artillery in here. It's, that's all my money, but I need a fucking artillery. I need something to propel the enemy with. Because I'm still in range of it, so I think if I stand here, I'm able to move through it right away. Will also slow down the traveling time of my troops towards them. And now I'm able to get some infantry down here. Yes, a line infantry. Yeah, line infantry, so I should be able to actually get anything I want from here that would, if I'm still attacking there. So I have one full stake, but I have no single artillery piece. I have four calf, four calf, three, no, one provin provincial calf, two regimental forces, and one lancer, one ulans. And then, like, uh, three line infantry, one militia. Eh. <laughs> so now tell me to do anything for me. But well, actually that's everything since I have no money. My economy is decent with 5k a turn, it's not bad. Because if I improve them, what would I get? Ooh! I thought I didn't need it, but I kinda need it because of the money. Okay, now so I've also traded with them, so I think... So how do I actually trade with them? I have trade with the yeah Camion. So this only board is already with trade through. I would like to know. Or do we say we have trade but actually not so we're giving ourselves money? <laughs> is that an option? And also, how does the religious state stand here? Uh, like waiting for another two turns? Two turns. <sighs> if all I have catalyst and that, all good. Yes. 
but I'm very worried about Russia still. Ah, fuck, I forgot to talk about France in Russia. I would like to check their diplomatic stats. France just know with who are they fighting with, and then Russia just... Actually, who are they fighting with, and would they go in my direction or the other direction? If they more go towards the west, I'm fine. As they're gonna go more to the east, I'm fucked. And if they're gonna declare more a war on me, it's gonna be so fucking fucked. And I think, yeah, I don't know what to do if they declare war on me. <sighs> I'm getting tired. <sighs> Prussia didn't do, didn't do anything. Oh, good lord. Oh, fuck my head. Huh. I'm getting so fucking tired all of a sudden. I'm wondering, are is or has Russia taken the piece of land against my border? Because if they did, I would like to take it, but I. If I look at the map, I think I still have it. Uh, I think Sweden still has it, so that's good. And then I need to uh, find a way to get... Since... Uh, since Petenburg. Yeah, since Petenburg from Russia without war. Otherwise, I'm forced to go towards Russia, but... I'm not able to do anything of that. So I think it's actually better to get... Since Petersburg first, so I don't start another war for no reason. Otherwise, I just can try to give it back to Sweden for a peace treaty. That's also an option. Then, actually, who won the war? <laughs> we wasted quite some man for that peace, I know that for sure. So. I'm not sure what would be the smartest idea to do. In Empire Total War, buildings are spread throughout a region in towns and ports, rather than being concentrated... I know, I know, I know. So first things first. False, who are you fighting? False, you are at Württemberg? It's a void Dutch... Okay, so you are with Westphalia. Oh, Westphalia, not Westphalia, Westphalia. And the Dutch, okay. Why? No idea. Russia is in war with no one. Okay. Worrying. And I think I've now forced to take that because it's only two. No, fuck. I invest almost almost all my money already in one thing. Okay, now I just need to wait a bit. Now nah, you know what? Get some recruitment going. Never mind. Then I rather want some recruitment. Let me see. Oh my economy. Decent. So I rather want some recruitment. I'm 
towards him. And then I would like to actually move him up to take this and then come back. So I think I can select my entire army, leave him down here and attack then. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> they can try to pull back if they can, just like I do. They have, I have one militia and one line infantry, so I couldn't win this battle. I will just shelf Biza in the shadow of the Spikeman, and then my cavalry can go towards the cannon. That's my plan. Cavalry to cannon, artillery on Pikeman, militia uh, to my pike frontal to my pike uh, to their militia and my line infantry flanking the pikeman. But I've no square formation yet, so if the pikeman goes for my uh, line infantry, I can't fight on them on the flank, so I need to change the direction of that. And then I can actually just maybe take one calf to work to support my line infantry, so I think that's the best thing to do one calf, actually one calf for the general, one calf for the artillery. So I keep my channel out of out of the game, out of the risk of dying. I think that's the best thing I can do. Wait, what? Edward Kippen. What the fuck? History is indeed a little more than the register of crimes, felony, a foolish. Follies and misfortunes of mankind. What? That's very dark of you. That's very dark. Does that history any good things in it? I think it, it. I think it is. I think it's how people have survived through dark times, like the Ice Age of Search, and also how we innovated and improvised to win stuff. And like, we are just like animals. Animals, we fight over territory and most of the time, we can rally each other to do certain things. Hmm? <laughs> we are just, we just outsmart the animals while animals outsmart us. So who is then the smartest? The man or the animal? <laughs> but is this CC Spence? Wait. Did he spend... Uh, how do you say it? Did he... Spend a bit too much and he spent says nope? It looks like it. <laughs> or just shit, or just this shit is bent. Bent is also an option. Almost loaded. Almost time for war. Oh, is that a fucking Holding good bet? cavalry oh. reserve in the center gives you flexibility. True. As the battle takes shape, you can move them quickly to where they're needed. That's actually completely true. Oh my god. You can search your ones, but I love them already. Woohoo, sexy! <laughs> oh, the militia list is just the really shit, but I like the battle flag. God damn. Okay, I like the uniforms of Poland. So it'd be a good direction to place it. I think down here would be good for my artillery. Um, I need to look at the terrain. It's because they are mostly uphill. I would like to put my militia down here. Line infantry close behind. Sure. My calf gonna be next to here. My more general will be down here. The halt button in the bottom right of the screen. Oh, you make selected units stop where they are. This is a quicker alternative to giving. It's not what I planned. I'm good. You're able to do this stuff. But I know I can outflank the enemy real good. Yeah, oh, they already killed 10 of my men.
but I'm just gonna outflank them. Yeah, sure, retreat, retreat, sure, be a dick. Wait, what is this? Is it just like a line infantry? No, it's militia. But I'm afraid of you because you're standing so close to this. While I can move my infantry up this to this side. I have the benefit of the of a more flexible artillery post, so you can you are not able to escape me. Even though I wanna try to be a small Oh there is striking. Yeah, just then close your job, I will just take both of you out of my artillery. Because they are completely useless now since I place my artillery. Perfectly, they are not able to hit my artillery and I'm, they are not able to hit my calf from here. Like one calf to be more towards here. Sure, I think that's good, yes. They are just gonna establish themselves there, okay. I'm waiting for them to attack. Are they gonna stay? Uh, okay, I'm taking on this, so. <laughs> but I thought they would take me. I can also just go on the flank of your artillery, so. because it's so badly placed. So you're still fucked up that way. Just keep shelling this. Keep shelling the pikemen. They want. they went into the pikemen? Hey, we're up high like a pikeman. I would be really terrified if I would see this as an Austrian artillery crew. Just standing here and suddenly you see all Kev coming on this side, I would be like, yep, yeah, fuck my life. Especially as pikeman was... Where the fuck is a pikeman? Oh yeah, I can put actually blood by net, so when we have one from perfect shot. Thank you, Mr. General. The turn we're done with the bike map. I think I'm gonna switch my line of uh, my militia to line by to, to by net and attack the enemy. Where are the bike men? Perfectly where I would like to have them, and you can stand on the flank. Pretty stretched out, so to improve the fight capacity, since only the first line will shoot, you just do the same, just stretch out. I have no real idea what you want to do, but I don't like you moving towards my calf. This is not what I prepared for. And also this is not what I signed in for when I started this battle. Don't go for to it then, go towards me. Oh general, you're dead. Also you're tired? Oh you're really tired. Okay, you fucked up. They are tired, they are winded, okay. They are doing jack shit. Okay, I think I will just allow my men to fix by nets. And they just go all in on the pipe, man. This can go real. Actually, I just couldn't take my. Uh, Militia to go to the bayonets. Or maybe not. Or charge them. Come on, let me see a good charge. Let me go to charge. Yes. I 
I smashed the screenshot button, but I finally here we go. Wait, they already ret almost retreating. Oh my god, perfect. You gonna fix Bayonet? Because it looks dope. That general is dead, that's something good. He's just gonna charge. Never mind. You should take out them. Well, Tilly will just stop shooting now. I just did it. I fucking did it. The general died and they just broke it. That's how good the general is. Actually, you keep shooting. Keep shooting on them. They won't come back. No, they're broken. Okay, so they may come back, but I don't think so. Especially if they get keeping shells by artillery. They are broken again. No wavering, just okay. Go behind them. You keep going behind after them. Not you. Go towards them. Until we shut up and you line up again. Actually just stop. You don't shoot. They broke again, but they will just be slaughtered. End of the battle! How many did many did I lose? Not even 100 men. <laughs> I'm really wondering how many men did I lose? I would say around 50. I would say I lost around 50 casualties. Let all brave Christians follow me. <laughs> oh no, let all brave Christians follow me. For in general, these last words prior to be killed by a cannonball. Oh boy. Not that bad. I don't think there will be. Uh, they still present on army remaining. Yeah. What do I have in here? What do you actually have left? Just the general staff. I actually need to pursue you, so I'm gonna take them. I'm gonna select my army. Minus them to go back to here. You do go to here. Just auto. Sure. Now they're dead. And that is everything. You can go back to the capital. I'm not able to recruit anybody anymore, but for you, I'm able to because only costs two, and that's about. My general lost people? How? My general was like three men. How? Oh, you're still able to move? Sure, go in then. Uh, him. Now just waiting. Then I can siege them. Then I hope my agent is able to do something. And to actually get actually, I will get a military government encampment. That will that means I'm able to get stuff. Okay, these three goons are just Swedish ones, so okay, I'm able to see the stats, but I think stats and the movement are just the same. We have to give you a bit closer. There's an our agent in here. Okay. But I hope they have some valuable 
technology for me. Here. Yes. No, no, no. It's the one turn I'm positive in uh, religion again. Um, is that everything? Yep, everything will then be positive in Catalyst. That's good. Yeah, then I can just go for all, everywhere 100%. Oh, they are building a trading port. Uh, so I don't think they're gonna sell it. <sighs> Fuck. Okay, so I think I'm forced to go towards Berlin. Especially, I make it only like that 5k turn. It's not. It's good, but not for a little big sum of money. Okay, this is gonna be my last turn actually of this. I'm gonna do one more turn. If I do it then, I can't stop because I'm feeling so fucking tired. And I'm actually surprised that. Never mind, they're. It took them actually quite a while before they start to attack to become offensive. And fuck, they took over Saxony. Fuck. Fuck. It's not good. Not good at all. Actually, they... Russia. No! Okay. What's Prussia doing now? They are moving into my lands. Is Prussia in war with Russia? Also, that name is so confusing. Prussia, Russia. Oh. I also don't see a lot of what Russia, what Russia is doing, so I have no idea what they are doing. I'm just seeing what Bavaria is doing. <laughs> and also, why is that just an army? Almost a full stack army, I think. A 19 stack army of France just standing in Westphalia. I don't know. Useful natural resources are oh, present in most good. regions. Exploiting them increases the income available but. through trade. Building, there. Improving farms, mines, traders, etc. Increase. <laughs> Nation destroyed, section E. Construction report, sure. How much do I now get? A third. Not a lot of money. So I need to invest a bit more in building. A little less in mil in little little less in military, a bit more in this. Oh wait, wait! Shit! Shit! Let's take one more line for three. Put them in then. I think actually it's time to declare war on Sweden. Might gonna take two turns, so I'm gonna put them down here. Yeah, it's gonna take two tur three turns. Uh, no, yeah. I'm not able to do anything at the moment, so I'm not gonna do I won't even try. You know, they're doing nothing, so. 
Prussia, what are you doing? Even my computer is tired. You're fighting no one? You go into my territory? What the fuck is going on? Why is Great Britain so friendly towards me? Same religion, I guess. And about to speaking about religion, I think. Yep. And I can choose this of them. It gives more repression, but I don't need that. But also bigger military bonus. Uh, economical bonus, but this will in it. I'm gonna build some military here. Give me also some money, so I'm not too afraid. I have actually no money left, so I think it's just end of the stream. Couldn't do this when it's my turn again. I gonna end the stream. I'm so fucking tired. Oh. I'm actually surprised that. Um, Prussia didn't declare war on me yet. And if they can declare war now on me now, I just quit the stream right away. And I'll see them later until my turn is safe, so. But they didn't, luckily. I'm not ready for war with them. I'm actually not really ready for a two front war, but still, I'm gonna rage in two front war. It may be not fair, maybe it didn't gain anything. I fucking told you. I fucking told you. And I just own. Uh, luckily, the Crimean Republic didn't join, but still, I have only a pikeman unit recording them south. Ah, uh, fuck, my economy is gonna be dead soon. Military alliance. For that, you're gonna need to pay a lot more main. Do you have a technology? I can no you don't even have technology. You may even make it worse. So fuck off. I don't even need a ally from the Indies, I just need the money. I really sound like the colonists. I don't care about your lives, I just want your money. I just want to make money from you. Sounds like I sound like King Leopold II. <laughs> I really sound like him. Your nation is currently a constitutional monarchy. This means the monarch's personal power is kept in check by a parliament of elected officials. The government are all members of a political party. If they lose an election, they will be replaced by elected members of an opposing party. Ministers can also be fired and replaced if it is felt they are not performing adequately. Okay, maybe that's something I need to check out, but I got some buildings again. I mean, war with them. Nation destroyed, just feel like that took a long time. Nation, oh no, I thought all the nations destroyed, but it isn't. They are destroyed by the Dutch. Were the Dutch no allies of them? Yeah, apparently not, because almost entire Europe hates them. Shit. They are more with France, Spain, New Spain, and Württemberg. Shit. And biggest shit is are actually just. The biggest shit is just this. There's a fucking second front open. They have a big ass army somewhere around here. I have just a pikeman. Should I then actually try to get more? I can try to go for Istanbul, and I think Istanbul should have a trade dog. Yes, so let me actually just move you. All the way south. 
And it's gonna take four turns. Fuck. We will get actually a good sized army. We will get a real good sized army. My economy is even getting worse and worse. I mean, is this, am I even getting some good stuff? At least 12% upkeep costs all naval units. So, fuck. Yeah, okay, that's something I'm gonna do later. I just. I'm gonna stop the stream because I'm so fucked up tired at the moment. I think I'm gonna close my eyes for an hour or two, but I can end here. I hope you enjoyed this short stream with Poland, and hope I will see you next time. Bye bye.